All right, in this video, I'm going to try and get rid of some of these uh, curb rashes, scuff marks, and uh, so it's kind of feeling rough. It's to the metal, and the the silver paint is gone, and also on top of it, the lacquer is gone as well. Some of these areas like this, it's going to be difficult because you've got the black, which is unaffected, but the silver definitely is. So silver looks like saying it went on top of the black and the black is unaffected. It's a three year old car. It's done 121,000 miles. So first job is to wash it down with some uh, car wax wash. Get rid of the, any, any dirt that I can. So I'm only gonna do the silver bit. And I'll be looking and maybe mask it off whilst, um, whilst I'm doing this to not affect the black. If I am painting it silver, or probably not just trying to smooth out these and maybe lacquer over the top because there's silver there and there's silver there. Anything's better than this kind of bubbly stuff. Alright, so wash it down, get rid of all the grease. And uh, next step is to, I'm going to have to uh, take the wheel off and use some tools to kind of use a hard, fast spinning tool to, to grind some of this crap off. All right. Right, it's working on the same wheel. Just getting rid of all the really flaky bits of uh, lacquer. It's quite thick. So, taking them off, I'm going to get to a stage where let's just get rid of the loose parts and that's it. Not really working to the, uh, really what ideally you should use lacquer remover liquid to remove all this. Alright, and uh, so if I'm rid of the flaky stuff. I've got this tool, Trapper from Tool Station, I think, £24.95. It's got loads of attachments to it. All sorts, cutting tools, drilling tools. This sort of tool where they want some grindy stone tools. More of these, polishing tools. Sure, they're cutting tools, cutting discs. Uh, but I went online and I got some of these, and these are about four pounds, five pounds. I don't know how they made their profit. Five pounds, ten of these, 120 grit, and that's what I want to primarily use to get get rid of these rashes there. All right, so let's make sure safety goggles on. Sometimes with spinning tool kind of things, you, you don't use gloves, uh, especially grinding, but I think I'll use them in this case. And I'm just going to work gently on these. By the way, it didn't fit first because the diameter of the thing that I bought, this, this rod here was too thick. It had one of these uh, extra attachments I could put from much smaller to much larger. That was good. Right, so looking at this tool, this tool is spinning well this way and so if I was to put it on like this and this thing was a spin this way that would be I think way too rough it would just bust it up in seconds even though it's like wrapped brown sandpaper so it's got to be this way isn't it where it meets the sand and spins with it like that so it doesn't wear this out because it will really wear out in seconds if it was to go the other way so how you put these on is important as well. Alrighty. It should fit. It's not sitting there well, but never mind. It should work. Alright. Let's get these gloves on. And I guess work gently, be an artist. And work on these. I've got my wheel up. Yeah, 
bouncing everywhere in your nose. I knew exactly where it was. I knew exactly where the dust shield. And then they bring in the issue and move it. I'm kind of holding my breath really. I'm nearing it. So I just can't get on that. Looking at this is pretty rough. It's in the same direction as some of these lines on the wheels anyway. It's like a cut to it. And we all go that way. So as long as I do that, it kind of goes along with it. And I've got sandpaper. 400 grit, 800 grit, and some 1,500 grit. Depending whether they take the wheel off or not. Yeah, let's take the wheel off. Alright, tyres off. So we may not do that with the rest of them, we'll see if we can... Okay, I can get right down on it. It's a lot easier to work with. Getting their face marks and holding the breath. Ready to go. Just carry on with that. Well, I know, so the tool is spinning. And I managed to get a face mask. And I went to catch that edge there. And the tool quickly slipped. Because it's going that way. It wants to go that way. It caught the edge of that. So in the future, I'll get some black paint. I think of some. Uh, Get some black paint and paint over it in a minute before I uh, lacquer it because I need a tiny amount. Alright, so I've uh, kind of smoothed it out, it's not perfect. Um, it's a bit there, I'll just move it out. I'm going to sand it down, I'm just going to do that tiny bit there. And the top kind of shapens, kind of turns from a, a cylinder to kind of a cone. So we know it's going to jump that way. I should come out like this. I can jump this way now. Turn above it, it's going to be best. See that? Can't tell the difference. Some lacquer's on. Wash it down once more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, done the 800 and 1500. Dry it as well. 
try the thing as well. And I noticed when I took this wheel off, it's sticking to the hub. So I don't think it was it's been taken off in a little while, even though it's got full service history. And we had some um, anti seize on there, copper anti seize, before I put the wheel back. I'm going to have a wheel uh, lack it up. I'm not really clean, I should have cleaned the inside, but I think it'll be alright because the inside's dark anyway. It's raining, that's so why I've got an umbrella out. And it's going to be annoying. So, face mask on. Go across. The lacquer. Gonna hit the bits. Right, so this is the result of my labours. Not pleased with it really. Two toned. Um, doesn't really look very new. So what I'm gonna do is do it again. I'm gonna. I've got better masking tape. Well, I didn't really use masking tape. I only use masking tape. I'm gonna two tone the thing in black and silver. And. Uh, and we better go at these rashes here that need to be uh, sandpaper down properly. Yep, so take the wheel off. I've probably cleaned the inside of the wheel as well this time. And there's some bumpy bits here. I'm going to sand them down. And the blackness kind of just goes part way because I think the uh, wheel weights, they need to sit not on paint but on bare metal. So the black is going to go so far and not all the way. Right, so wheel off again and uh, right, wash it down off. Again. Um, that's a thicker spot. Makes it good. See that? I tried washing it after and come off, so I'm not going to be playing, spraying, spraying on top of a shitty textured kind of surface. Try and get it as smooth as I can. Although. Yeah, spraying paint on something like this will smooth it out. And black paint goes, black paint goes, eh? Yeah? And just smooth it out, so. Parts like this, smooth it out. I'll do the same with these parts. Do the whole wheel first, and then I'll wash it down. So I'll do this all throughout. Alright, so, wash down. Uh, sandpapered, rough bits sandpapered, left a tiny bit there, any bumps, feeling fairly smooth, these parts are smooth, alright, will it dry and I'm going to mask it off, I think it'll be wise to do the mask off the silver first, alright, so I'm using this masking tape, precision edge masking tape, brought a tool station, two pounds something, 50 meters, quite a lot for the money. So I'm hoping this will give me perfect edges. Fingers crossed. Right, so here's the original wheels, what they look like on the car. I noticed that every other car usually has a silver, silver kind of alloy wheels. So, you know, I really want to do it the same. It's so difficult, they're masking black and silver off. I think that's impossible for me. So, here it is, masked off, including the wheels and the uh, where you uh, add the air, whatever that's called, that thing there, the straighter valve, you blocked off the holes um, inside of the wheel. So I'm going to spray into it and have a clear line when I pull out the tape. So silver first, and I'm, I don't know. Well, after it's silver, maybe like some triangles that are black, maybe. But that won't be too easy, to, it won't be too difficult to mask off. But then, you know, one might be different size than the other, and people might notice. Definitely silver to start with, but I was going to get black and then mask off and then have silver rectangles. But I mean, that might look a bit funny, but it's not 100%. So you need some sort of machine, I guess, to do it properly, 100%. So it's silver first. Got these uh, Halfords Wheel Trim Silver. 
so not chrome but will, you can get chrome sprays but this is just this silver one and I think it will match this so that's the casing because this bit inside is black I need to push these right down like so there's an horrible You can't really see into that far into your car because it's silver and mine just shine up. So, obviously, sh I'm under the umbrella, it's going to rain in a minute, but um, you can't really see that far in. So, it doesn't matter about this bit, but out on the outer bits of this hole, it will matter. So, all right, and obviously the nut will go over it as well. All right, so I'm just going to put a bit more tape on it. To make some sort of circular appearance. I don't want paint in there in case it decreases the diameter of the hole. All right, let me just do that. Let's see, give the can a good shake. Got respirator on, and uh, I'm going to go over like so rather than uh, staying in one spot. Thin layers, I guess. A few thin layers. So here goes. Wait for the wind to die down. So it's stopped, it kind of gives the blood. Seems to dry quite quickly. I'll give it a minute. Of course, common, common sense tells you to uh, make sure you're not anywhere near your car. And the wind's heading in your car's direction, don't spray. Second layer after only about two minutes. Black got covered really quickly, eh? I can barely see it anymore. For a couple of minutes. Logically, I'm standing in a different direction. Make sure I get it at all angles. Third layer, looking better already. So about six thin layers later, I went to kind of put some masking tape and check it and I scratched it straight away with my finger. So when I went to spray some more and it kind of went a bit patchy. So I had to put another two layers on just to cover the patchy kind of still a bit dark there. So you've got to be really even when you do this and I think it's okay now. But it scratches easy so it's going to be lacquer time in a second. I've got some this lacquer that I used before, which is quite good really fast flying. I've also got some uh, better lacquer. I can't seem to find it in there. 
high temperature you can spray it directly onto paint lacquer no sorry this is aluminium paint heavy duty PU rack and this is what they recommend in Humphreys to go over their paint so that'll be on next cheap lacquer first shake it for two minutes same sort of technique so there's two layers I don't know let's see I can smell it through my mask. I'm going to paint underneath with lacquer, so gonna have to, the rust is going to have to get through, or corrosion is going to get through many, many layers. I think I'm going to give it two coats of this and one coat of the other, I think. Stand in a different direction, here we go again. I'm sure I'll get into the rim, rim over here. I deserve this spray in the time. Right. Quite fast drying this stuff. It's only gloss now the wheel which is nice. Put the expensive stuff on after this. When you when you uh, finish spraying with the spray you want, well, I haven't done it with this one yet but turn it upside down spray all the uh, paint out of the tube otherwise you have to stop. If you want to test if it's dry or not, probably around here where you don't matter. You see, not on there because you'll leave the fingerprint. When this stuff is dry, then you're ready. And then let's lay it. This is last layer, draining, my umbrella's handy. And you start. Slow it down a bit so I get. This is just that's going to be much hard, more hard wearing. I'm done with that. Spray down. Alright, show you what look. Just as a tip, when you're pulling away the masking tape, pull it away from the uh, wheel. It should all come off in one piece if you've laid it on top of each other. You put some uh, gloss, wheel gloss thing on. It's still bloody raining. So I'm going really to turn it over and take these out. Alright, so not bad looking I think. Um, I hope the uh, rain has put snow down a bit so I can do the other wheels because I'll have odd looking wheels on my car. Right, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, you, I guess you can do the same to, I wouldn't do it to a half decent wheel but if only if it's got uh, curbside rash on it. Right, thanks so much for watching. By the way, this is the one Halford recommends for their paints on the uh, wheel and uh, I don't recommend this one I prefer their clear lacquer same price this one dries about 10 times quicker maybe 15 times quicker than this one right let's do a before and right let's do a before and after here's a before and after so hit that thumbs up lots of work gone in Comment below if you want.